Right, today I've got um, a shoulder of lamb. Um, I've took the bone out and stuff. I'll, I want to keep the video short because my uh, computer is like died, so I'm on the laptop. It takes ages to upload stuff, so I'll do another video about deboning it or something like that later today. So it, it was along the lines of something like that, with the bone in it, obviously I took it out. And then what I've done is I've just sliced through there to open that out, so now I've got it right opened out like so. Then, what um, normally I'd use this mint, you know, like what, it's the same stuff as what you've got, like on minted, minted lamb chops, stuff like that. Nice. It's very nice. So um, I'm just gonna sprinkle this on there, and then I'm gonna roll it all back up in a bit. Put plenty of that on there. Smells mm. good. Yeah, it's lovely. Really does make it's like you must have tried minted lamb chops and stuff like that. You put this on your lamb and it's just like an old minted lamb joint. Mm. Lovely. It makes gravy nice as well if you put a little bit in the gravy. <laughs> yeah, it does as well. So I'll just put that there a second. Then what I've got is I'm just gonna put um some rosemary. I've got some rosemary, I'm just gonna put some rosemary in there, just purely because I've got it. I mean just like that is nice as it is. Um like I say, I've, I happen to, I've got this, so I'm just going to put some some rosemary in there. Just sprinkle some bits of rosemary all around in there. See this this starts to turn into like a, I don't know if you can see it happening already. Like I say, you normally just put it in the fridge and leave it, and it um, turns like a ready yeah ready paste glaze. Do you know what? Maybe we should leave it so when I roll it up, Joe, it don't fall out. It don't fall out. Yeah. So I tell you what, we'll just stop. Pause the video a sec, and we'll come back in a minute when that's turned into a glaze. It don't take very long. Right. So I'm gonna go with a little bit of thyme as well. Just pull shred some leaves off the poor plant. Serving me anyway, the time does. Not going bananas, just. Fragrant, mm, isn't it? Yeah. I'm having, well, it's up to you, Jude, as well, but I do think it's a joint decision, though. I mean, turkey at Christmas, Jude? <laughs> nah. What were with Christmas? Lamb. <laughs> Lamb. Lamb. <laughs> just a little bit of pepper, nothing crazy. It's my very favourite meat, lamb. Especially minted lamb. Yeah, oh, I mean, believe me, this is gorgeous just with that, oh, ouch, just with that minted stuff on it. Yeah. But I'm just going for it today. So I'm going to put, rather than put some cloves of garlic on, I've got some garlic granules. I'm just going to literally just go with a little sprinkling of garlic in there. Nothing too crazy. And I'm also going to put just a touch of sage in there as well, dried sage. Just a sprinkle of sage. Look at that. That looks nice, doesn't it? It's lovely. <laughs> And you know it's gonna be good. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm sad for all you people watching that you don't get to eat it with us. <laughs> Not. <laughs> yeah. More for us. Right. So now basically, I'm gonna roll that up and tie it up. You know what I mean? So just like to give that a roll up there like this. Roll the flat bit in. Fold it right in there. And give that. Nice, good. Roll up there like so. And then tie it up. So I'm going to have to steal Jody a minute maybe to help me do the, do the tying up part. So. Okay, a sec. Okay, a sec. Right, so there's my joint. I've tied it up, rolled it up and tied it up. Look, it's obviously boneless, so it's going to be easy to carve. Nice slices, this and the other. So what I'm going to do now is um, put more... More minted stuff, all on the ends. Can't have too much. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> so I minted that up. Sorry about that, Probably need to pause again because it'll just wait. wait. For that to yeah, soak. wait, waiting for Christmas. Aren't we? Yeah. Is it? Okay, just, okay. yeah, just doing both ends. Let's get it all on the top and everything's 
well. I'm just going to put this in the fridge for a little while and then roast it in the oven probably about an hour and a half. We'll put some roast potatoes underneath it as well. So we'll they show get that when we do it, yeah. We'll show you that in a bit. Yep. See you later. I know. Right then, so here's my joint, my minted shoulder of lamb. But I've took the bones out. So it's just been in the fridge a little while, but I've had it out of the fridge actually for half an hour, but it was in the fridge a little bit before that. Just let the marinade glaze, see it look. So I do it like this. Um, excuse me a minute. <coughs> Basically, roasting tray and what I do is I, I put that on and put the lamb onto that because then underneath in about an hour's time we put roast potatoes in there and then all the all the juices from the lamb and the minted marinade and all the, all the other stuff we put on there just drips through then and onto the potatoes That's nice so there you go I'm gonna put this in the oven for about I'm gonna cook it slower actually I'm gonna cook it on 150 degrees in the oven for an mm, hour and three quarters to two hours just nice and slow. Yep, and so I'll come back to you later. Bye now. Right, that's had about an hour now so far. So I'm just gonna pop that on there a second. Because I've got some roast taters, those juices are gonna start to come out now. I just blanched I just blanched them for blanched them for a minute in, in some hot oil in the fryer just because. Just crisp them up a bit while the because when the juice drops on them, if you do them, don't fry them first, they just go soggy. So, yeah, yeah, better to give them a crispy coating first. But I'll come back and do them in a minute because the juice is starting to come out of the meat now. So, right, so put them back on there. Now, I'm going to also turn that over, get that side done. <laughs> Might be nice. Back into the oven. Probably about another half an hour, then I'll test it to see how it is from there on. Right, cool. In a bit. I'm just giving these a spin around in the the, yeah, the minted lamb stuff and all the juices look that have, that have basically fell out, you know, come out of the joint. So you can see the coated in it now, look. I do taste nice when they like that cheese, doesn't it? Very nice. Cool, I'll put my jump back in. See you in a bit. I'm, I'm making some Yorkshire puddings as well to go with this. Um, I've made up the batter just there. You can see that on the toad in the old video if you want to know how that how that, that all pans out. But I just thought I'd film doing a giant Yorkshire pudding to share. So that's been made standing. Now it's going in. into a red hot oven right there's my Yorkshire pudding look that's ready I mean what I'll do tomorrow is if there's any of this joint left I'll slice it up and then put it in like the pan of gravy to cook warm it through in there and then make one of these each for me and Jody. and then we put the meat in and your potatoes your veg whatever whatever you like in, in like a dinner in there and gravy all on them but today we're just gonna have half of this each so I'm going to get on with slicing up the, the meat now. I'll come back in a second to you. Right, so I'm just carving it up now. I'll get the string off in a sec. I'll just go nice and thin slices, mate, so I like it. But you can see how juicy it is in there. I don't know if you can see. It tastes lovely as well. Right. So I'm going to carry on carving it, and I'll show you what's on the plate. Okay. And there you have it. Roast shoulder of lamb. Minted roast shoulder of lamb. Yorkshire puddings, mashed potatoes, roast potatoes. And gravy. I've got mine with chips though. No, <laughs> he's just wrong. There you go. <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> and this gravy's really nice too. Oh. Proper. Mm, I am. Yum yum. See you later. Bye now. Bye.